Hey, how's it going? Mr. Dead Man of the Dead Man Stone Podcast. I need to talk about the situation that sparked the uh, Kyle and Karen memes, which are hilarious, by the way. Okay, so what's going on? Black Lives Matter is becoming even more brazen that we've seen. I mean, there's the Chaz thing that's in Tifa and Black Lives Matter. You can't, you can't exclude Black Lives Matter from that. They're pretty much in that. But then you have them taking their protests to private property. We'll talk about Beverly Hills later on. I do find that one more... Uh, hypocritical and funny uh this one though this one private owned uh private owned land a gated community okay uh, people who have a lot to lose i don't know if these individuals were uh virtue signaling on trigger uh t- trigger twitter so i don't know anything about that so i'm going to assume that they didn't but that doesn't matter that doesn't matter what happens is black lives matter they come into the private property um uh, bring in their bullshit but these guys this couple, this family, doesn't want to buy what they're selling, and rightfully so. What do they have? They, are, they have an AR and a gun, a handgun, ready to use, ready to use in case they want to try something. And they tell them to get off the property, get off their property, that they're on private property. Of course, what do the protesters say? It's, it's a public street. These idiots... I don't know how they graduated. I don't know how they graduated, but I guess these idiots don't know they have walked into a gated community community and on private road, private property. So no, no, it's not public. And by the way, there's a video of this. I could show you it instead of just telling you about it. Let's do that here. And here's a, here's a picture of the gate. Yes, it is a private street. It is a private street. Okay, let's get into this real fast. All right, so they're just walking right in. They're walking right into the gated community. So imagine this happening to your neighborhood. I don't care if you live in a gated community. It, imagine this happening to your uh, suburban neighborhood, your, your, your little subdivision, right? What would you do? I'd be in my friend yard with a gun. I definitely would be. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? I, I definitely would. I'd have a gun in one hand and a beer in the other. Oh. Okay, so he's telling private neighborhood, get the hell out of my neighborhood. Get the hell out. Get the hell out. Listen to what they say. All right, y'all, he got a gun and shit. And y'all can see. Y'all see? On my live feed, live. He got his Private rifle. Property, get out. Uh, y'all can see. He does have a weapon. And y'all can see. So then they're just trying to say that they own the street. They own the street now. Because they do, apparently. Apparently. I mean, look at the logic of that. These people just, oh, they own whatever they want. Whatever they want. No, that's not how it works. That's not how it works at all. So there's just a bunch of yelling right now. Oh, it's a sidewalk. We go a sidewalk in a private community. Like, no. These guys, first off, would you be surprised? Are you surprised that people in the Black Lives Matter don't understand property ownership? No, of course not. Of course not. It's kind of expected that they wouldn't know anything about that. Uh, like, how could you expect people who never owned a damn thing in their life to uh, uh, understand ownership? And that's not a thing about black people. That's not. That's not. That's a thing about, because there's white people in the Black Lives Matter movement too. But a bunch of white people, a bunch of white people who are begging for like Marxist stuff to happen. Begging for it. Begging for it. And there's black people in the, in the movement that want Marxist stuff to happen too. When I say Marxist stuff, I mean communism. I mean, what you have is mine. That sort of stuff. Like, oh, that family has a lot of money, a lot of resources. Let's take their stuff and redistribute it. 
that is a poison to the brain right there. That 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 is a poison to the brain and then it destroys every society that has ever embraced it. That has ever embraced it. Name a communist country that actually works well. We can say China. <laughs> There's a reason why they work well. They're the manufacturer of the world. And they don't really work well. They don't. They kill their people. Like they they are horrible to their own people. And they do horrible things. Uh, but you never mind that. Never mind that. Yeah, screenshot this. Now, look at this. This couple's defending their property, and rightfully so. They're in the right here, okay? Now, of course, they are being smeared on Twitter. They're being smeared in the news, being like alt-right or whatever. You could find the articles. It's there. It's there. They rightfully defended their home. They told them to leave, and they're being smeared for it. Not only that, but Twitter outrage mob are trying... No, no, not trying. They tried and they were successful at doxing this couple. Why? To encourage harassment. Look at this tweet here. Look at this tweet. Let me, uh, let me change the screen here. Uh, there you go. So maybe you can read it better. Okay. Look at this. A couple has come out of their house and is pointing guns at protesters in their neighborhood, St. Louis. And then Kyle Dennis... Kyle Dennis, someone identify these people. I don't know the area. Get an address. I'll help. They'll outright try to dox this family because they have, what, they committed the sin of defending their property against uh, people who are coming in with some bullshit because of that? Because of that? See, look what Kyle Dennis does. He's actually encouraged, encouraging people to harass this family even more. Where's the Twitter uh, censorship on that? Where's the Twitter violation of terms of service on that? Where is it? It's not there. It's not there. That's funny. And the interesting thing about Kyle Dennis, Kyle Dennis, is that he has a lot of dirty laundry. Apparently, he's into some really dirty stuff. Look at this tweet from Kyle Dennis. I can't even read this. Apparently, Kyle Dennis at one point tweeted, having sex with children isn't a real crime. He was eight years old, and that's old enough to consent. Also, no, I don't have sex with black kids. Yes, they're all pink on the inside. No, I don't want AIDS. I'm sorry for eating lunch or trying to hold some food down. I, I, that, that's, that's horrible stuff. That's horrible stuff of what, what I just read. The words coming out of my mouth were just horrible. I'm going to have to take a shot of uh, like Maker's Mark after this. And it's only like 9 o'clock over here. But I have to purge myself, purge my, my mouth of the, the toxic stuff that Kyle Dennis said. But Kyle Dennis has been doxxed. As it goes, what goes around comes around. When you do some dirty, BS, nonsense, bullshit to, to um, target someone, that is going to come your way. And when it does, you cannot complain about it. You cannot com complain about it at all. So it has. It has come his way. Now, what do y'all think about this? What do y'all think about this? You think this couple was in, in the right? I absolutely do. I think they are in the right to defend their property. We have seen where protests go from protests to vandalism, which is a crime, by the way. Someone tagging someone's house or property with BOM, that is a crime. No one asked for that. No one asked for that. You know? It's vandalism. And then there's other forms of uh, property destruction, broken windows, just flat out breaking stuff. People going into people's homes. No, they are absolutely in the right. What if it escalated? What if they opened fire? Well, they gave, they gave warnings. They gave warnings. So if they didn't listen to the warning, okay. Just shoot to kill, though. Don't shoot to wound. Shoot to kill. Because if you don't, they could turn around and try to sue. You know. <laughs> um, anyway, what do y'all think about this? What do y'all think about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. And really right now is the perfect time to remind you guys. Look. 
anymore right now, depending on where you are, the police are being defunded. They're being defunded, so they're not going to be able to help you. They're not going to be able to respond to the call. Okay? So you might need to arm up. You might need to get a weapon. You might need to get a gun. Do it now while you can. Do it now. Anyway, y'all stay safe and take it easy.